Hi everyone and welcome to Amma's Home. Today I'm sharing my version of Korean shortbread barbecue called LA Galbi and this is my daughter's favorite meat. In this video, I'll show three ways to cook this rib and how to freeze the leftover for your next meal. Buy the meat when it's on sale and have it ready for your next meal. This tastes better as it's being marinated in the refrigerator or freezer. The recipe is in front and back of the video, so make sure to have everything ready, and I've included the diabetic-friendly recipe as an option too. I'm cleaning 4 pounds of rib, and it's very important to clean it thoroughly to get rid of bone particles on the rib. Put the meat on a clean water and let it sit about a few minutes, and then take off the excess fat and rinse it a couple of times. I'm using food processor to make a puree, but if you don't have it, just slice it thinly. Place thinly sliced onion, garlic, ginger, and green onion and puree it together. For sugar substitute, this is the time to add Asian pear or applesauce and additional onion for added mutual sweetness. Now it's time to add all the ingredients and mix it together. I'm using Coke in this video, but you can use a bottle of beer or any leftover white wine or Asian rice wine. I'm using Coke to tenderize the meat and it has sugar already, so I'm saving little money on sugar. Puree vegetables will also tenderize the meat, and kids cannot take out the vegetables, so that's a good thing. Now that the marinade sauce is ready, it's time to add the meat a little at a time and let it absorb the marinade. Place the meat on a container by laying it flat and stack the meat on top. Pour the rest of the marinade into a container and close the lid and refrigerate this right away. This meat tastes better after marinating for overnight, but if you're in a hurry, wait at least a couple of hours. I've made a video on how to freeze the meat at the end of this video for your future meal. Now it's time to cook the meat and I'm using frying pan. First put the heat on high and add a tablespoon of sesame oil and coat the pan. Place the meat and cook on each side for several minutes on medium heat until the meat is ready. Let the meat cook on medium heat for about 5 minutes and flip and cook the other side for about another 5 minutes. Make sure that the meat won't burn. Okay, I've just been cooking on a frying pan. And it smells so wonderful. It's ready, so turn off the heat and place the meat on your plate. Now I'm going to show you how I use oven to broil the meat and also the small toaster to broil for a person. Just place the meat and broil for about several minutes on each side until it's cooked. If you're using a stovetop oven, you may have to cook it a little longer. I usually use two trays for our family and I love using this tray because all the fat from the meat is on the tray. My favorite to grill the meat is using the barbecue grill, but this will do just as fine. It's a good idea to eat galbi with lots of kimchi and even samjang for additional probiotic nutrient to help break down the food for you. We usually eat meat with wrapping it with lettuce and add some samjang. I've heard that ginger helps lower cholesterol or fat from red meat, so drinking ginger tea with this meal is a good idea. Or make salad with ginger dressing. My daughter's gonna help me eat this too. This is one of her favorite dish. Say hi, Jojo. <laughs> this is how my daughters eat when they come home from work. They have the food ready. So now if you don't want to use your hand to cut all that meat, we just cut it with the scissor. Now, right after you marinated the kalbi, you can actually put them in a freezer bag. And I actually cook about 10 times more than this volume. And I do this when it's on sale. See how I'm putting the kalbi flat? And see how many portions. Per person is two to three pieces. If you want to freeze just for yourself, use a smaller size freezer bag. Seven, I have eight, which means two for each person. But some people like to eat a little bit more, so I'm just gonna add a couple more for daddy. My family, daddy eats a lot. So, this is extra for my daddy, my husband. With the soy sauce, you could add some, pour it in there, and try to take out all the bubble, air bubble, and close the lid, 
And when you put this in the freezer, place it like this. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe to this channel and like us on Facebook. Thumbs up would be great too. Be healthy and bye.